Hello everyone, Ken here back with another video for you. Today I have a special announcement for you all. I'm starting to learn data science over from the very beginning. In this video, I'll walk you through why I've decided to undertake this new journey, and I'll talk about how you can get involved and potentially do this for yourself as well. There's some great ways to be held accountable both directions, and I really want to highlight those. At the end, I'll also include all of the resources that I'll be using to learn from scratch. This will hopefully be very valuable to anyone who's just starting out in the field or is looking to brush up on their data science skills. There are a couple reasons why I want to start data science over again. First, I felt for a few months that I was getting just a little bit complacent. I haven't learned anything new in my work and I wanted to start an initiative for more targeted knowledge growth. I think it's important to make an adjustment whenever you're feeling just a little bit stale. It's so easy for us to get stuck in a routine or a rut and just coast along. I don't want to coast. That's not how I personally live my life. Second, most of my subscriber base is on the earlier side of the data science journey. It's been a long time since I started on my data science career path, and I think it would help me connect more with all of you to start off learning some of the basics again. Third, I want to create a more clear roadmap for how to learn the data science skill set. Again, I'll be walking through all the steps I'll be taking and the resources I'll be using at the end of this video. Now, what does this mean for you? You can actually follow along and participate in this exercise if you want. I'll be tracking what I'm doing on Twitter with the hashtag 66 days of data. I chose 66 days because this is the average amount of time that it takes for a habit to take hold. I think learning data science is built on a foundation of good habits more than anything else. So I wanted to further reinforce this concept. I'll be starting this initiative on September 1st and you're welcome to start with me or frankly, whenever you feel like it. If you want to participate, I'd love to hear about what you're working on each day. Just tweet out what day of the 66 days it is and what you're working on. Tweeting is the main requirement. The other one is that you spend more than five minutes working on something data science related each day. That could be working on a project, reading data science articles, watching data science YouTube videos. This isn't something that should be intimidating. The time requirement is very small as I think it should be. We want to establish a repeatable habit, not work ourselves to death here. I think this is a great way to stay excited about the data science journey as well. And to be clear, you can go way beyond the five minutes if you want. You could do two hours a day for all I care, but I think five minutes is a good, easy threshold that you should be able to do for 66 days straight. I'll be working and updating on Twitter as well. So this is a great way for you to hold me accountable and for you also to hold yourself accountable. Engaging in this is a great way to start sharing some of your work, your goals, and your progress as you move towards becoming a data scientist. I know it can be really hard to share for the first time, and I'd hope that this can help you get more comfortable with putting yourself out there. If you've watched a few of my videos in the past, you know how important I think sharing your work is for getting a job, for really maximizing your career success. So what resources will I be using to do this? This is one of the most common things I get asked on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, what resources should I use to learn data science? The following are the ones that I thought made the most sense for the things that I wanted to learn. You should experiment to see what works best for you. And I'll stress this again, I think most of the online courses are really good. And it's more important that you choose something and start rather than choosing the right one because the right one size fits all course does not exist. It really depends on your personal preferences and learning style. I actually made a whole video on this topic, which I've linked above, and hopefully that can cut through some of the noise and maybe ease a little bit of that nervousness about starting a new course for you guys. A few of these resources are paid, but there's also plenty of free options online for learning data science as well. I've linked my video on the best free resources above and below for your reference. So now on to the actual things that I'll be using. First, I'll be using Kaggle as much as possible. I'll probably do some of their micro course work and I'll be complementing all of the stuff I do with projects on the platform to practice the skills that I'm rehashing. Next, I'll be using 365datascience.com. I've got a great relationship with them. In particular, I'll be using their Python course taught by my fellow YouTuber Python programmer to brush up on the coding basics. 
I'll also be exploring some of their deep learning track. Although I'm more of an online resources guy, I thought it would also make sense to supplement this learning with a few good old fashioned books. I'll be reading Hands-On Machine Learning with Scikit-Learn, Keras, and TensorFlow. I've already started this and I like it so far. For some of the math stuff, I'll be reviewing practical statistics for data science. And the third one will be approaching almost any machine learning problem. I think this one's gonna be a bit more advanced and I hope I get to it. It's written by uh, Abhishek Thakur, who I had on the channel a couple days ago, actually. I'll be linking all of these resources in the description and any of the discount codes or whatever I can find associated with them. One thing I should also mention is that I'll be heavily referencing the documentation for most of the packages in Python that I use on a regular basis. That is probably one of the most overlooked resources I can think of when learning this field. For the actual learning itself, I'll be doing my best to spend about 70% of my time applying this knowledge through projects and practice, and about 30% of the time on theory. This isn't an exact science, but I found that this ratio works best for me individually. I personally recommend spending a little bit more time on the application when starting out than the theory. That just helps you get used to actually doing stuff rather than thinking about stuff, which that bias towards action and learning I really value. And to that point, I'll be starting with the programming fundamentals. I think being able to program first helps enable you to do almost all of the other things that are relevant. So once you start programming, you can start applying these things and understanding them at a functional level. After I've got a handle on some of the programming again, I'll move into the Kaggle projects. And as I work through a few of these, I'll take a step back to refresh on some of the math, and then I'll dive back into the projects again. This for me is a moving iterative process where I learn, I do projects, I learn, I do projects, and I keep bouncing back and forth. Again, that for me works the best, but you might have a slightly different method. You really have to experiment with your learning style and what works best for you. Hopefully seeing me start again from the beginning will help inspire you to pick it up as well. I think that this will be a fun experiment and I really hope that you guys participate in it with me. As usual, thank you so much for watching and good luck on your data science journey.